Next up, we have Paul Dauman. He's the developer and founder at OK Grow, and he's presenting about easy image uploads for your Meteor app. I'm Paul Dauman from OK Grow, and we've been building Meteor apps for clients for over a year and a half now. Almost every app that we've built has involved uh, uploading, allowing users to upload files, upload images specifically. Things like user profile photos. Um, luckily, there's a really amazing and robust and super powerful framework to do this called Collection FS. Uh, this is made by two guys that you've probably heard of, Rakes and, and Al Deed, are their GitHub accounts. Who's, who's heard of these guys? I think they deserve a round of applause. Yeah, these guys are amazing. They've built so much great stuff, and Collection FS is one of these things. So it extends Mongo collections to handle files, and it lets you store the file data in one of four backends. So, uh, so in MongoDB itself, using GridFS, using the file system, which you probably don't want to do, but it, it's there, S3 or Dropbox. We use S3. So um, some of the things that you'll probably come across when you do this in your own app will be that you're going to want to transform the uploaded image. So you're going to want to crop and scale it. And you're probably going to want to store multiple sizes so that you don't have to serve a giant image for the thumbnails, for example. And you're probably going to want to keep the original as well so that um, you know, later on down the road, when you change the design of the app, you can regenerate these, the, all the other different sizes that you might use using different, uh, different aspect ratios or different sizes. Uh, you're going to want to serve them from a CDN or at least S3. And um, I'm not a big fan of uploading direct to S3. But anyway, CollectionFS is, is super powerful and very general. Um, and so we've been using it our, ourselves, but we, we've done a bit of work on, on top of it just to like, configure it and make it work in our own app. So we've been working on this as a package that we use ourselves. Um, and it's kind of more simple and opinionated. And the goal is to add image uploads to any app with a very small amount of code, basically just configuration. So first of all, it's a work in progress. So please don't flag in an atmosphere. If you want to use it and it's not working for you, I will help you personally. So let us know. Post on GitHub, contact me, whatever. So what does it do? So it lets you attach images to documents in any collection. Uh, it will generate default uh, publications and allow deny rules, uh, which you can al always customize. Uh, it can, it'll let you, if you want to, serve your images directly from S3. And it supports S3 only right now as, as a backend. That's what we use. This is what it looks like. So this is how you define a, uh, a user, Im a profile image uh, for your users. So this will, this will create a, a collection called user images that uh, is associated with the Meteor users. It will give it the default permissions. It will generate. It will store four different sizes: the original, uh, one called thumbnail at 200 by 200, and those other two sizes that you see there. Uh, it will give you a couple of helpers. So this is this one is still fairly bare bones. We're going to make that a lot nicer. But um, this will give you uh, an upload button that gives you some progress and displays the thumbnail size when it's done, associated with the current user. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done, bug fixes, documentation, make it suitable for public consumption, basically. We want to support Autoform, um, a better upload uh, widget that'll let you crop and zoom maybe right in the browser, uh, simplify the API, etc. So if you want to help, um, I, would, I would love some help if you want to use it. We're probably going to offer some small bounties. And some of those will be for actually maintaining collection FS uh, like fixing, I think, uh, fixing any critical issues in collection FS itself or whatever. It is actively worked on. It's very stable. But you know, we, we use it a lot, and we'd love to support that community as well. Thanks. Uh, do we have any questions for Paul? Right. Uh, on this, so the question was, wh where do we do the image processing, client side or server side? Uh, it's on the server side. Um, and it actually it uses um, image magic or graphics magic, so it won't work on, on the Meteor hosting. I don't know about Galaxy. That's a different question. But um, I think that actually it's a lot of people are worried that there's going to be performance problems with uploading the image through the app. 
I think in practice it's not really a big deal, and it's sort of more outweighed by uh, having the security of um, of making sure that what people are uploading is really valid. Okay, cool. Any other questions? Oh, over here. I'm sorry, could you say that louder? But it's available on mobile and web. Is it, the question was, is it available on mobile and web? Yes, it, it uses the, actually a browser uh, file input, so th that actually works perfectly well on mobile. It works well on Cordova. It will, it will let you, um, on, on Cordova or a mobile browser, it will pick, um, it will let you use the camera or, or choose from your images. All right, any other questions? Thank you very much, Paul. Thanks.